Okay, guys, I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and knock out a few of the capacitors and uh, check these resistors as well that may or may not be out of tolerance. We'll see in time. I'm going to start in the uh, front end of the receiver and uh, look at the uh, 58 tube, which resides here. We've got a, a bypass cap here. I'm looking at the schematic I'll show in the picture in picture. Again, this is the type 58. But going from uh, grid number three back over to the uh, cathode, they're tied together, as you can see. And there's a, a bypass cap there. The schematic that I'm referencing again for a different receiver um, shows point, what, zero 0.05 in my radio itself. I'm at uh, point 0.1 microfarads. For those that are new in the hobby, you can see what happened. Part of the old uh, tube socket here, my solder tie back two point, broke off. That's uh, not uncommon. Many times I'll just use the uh, coil method. In this case, trying to uh, unsolder this with the age that broke, uh, we can still salvage this with no issue. I'll just loop the uh, capacitor back around here and uh, refasten it should be good and secure just one thing to keep in mind though looking through my uh, parts i don't have any uh, point ones just a couple but uh, the leads are really short the original schematic uh, that i'm referencing for the uh, west tone version of this receiver was 0 0.05 this is 0 0.06 microfarads i'll go ahead and put that in um, for Pierce down there, I've already uh, denoted the uh, outside foil or shield side, which will go to uh, chassis ground. I got the 0 0.06 microfarad capacitor installed. As you can see here, in addition, going back over to the uh, 56 tube, I placed a, a 0.1 microfarad cap in. Again, one of them that uh, the leads were short, so that worked out great. Back over to uh, chassis serving as ground for this particular receiver. And a look at the 0.1 microfarad capacitor that I took out along with the 50,000 ohm resistor that was out of tolerance that will be replaced as well. And with everything tied in, so uh, let's move along to the uh, next capacitor resistor. I'm sure the old paper cap that we're looking at is leaky. The capacitance, however, is just a little high, 0.15 microfarads. Let's look at the resistor. In the old resistor, reading 69.2 should be reading 50k, so just under 40% high. So you'll notice the resistor uh, body end dot there, the green, black, yellow, representing uh, 500,000 ohms. I'll check the DC resistance just for my uh, information for now, but I'm going to leave it in place. They're actually taking the screen grid voltage off of the 58 tube and feeding that over to the plate of the 56 tube. Again, my schematic does not match this configuration. I'll just leave it in place for now, get the remaining components out, and come back to this. And the resistor itself is uh, just under 20% high. Referencing the center of the screen, you'll notice an old uh, 0 0.01 microfarad cap coming from the plate of the 56, feeding the grid of the 2A5. I'm going to get it swapped out. In addition, you'll see another bypass cap, a mica cap there, the brown cap. I'll take a look at the capacitance of that as well. That's not denoted on the schematic. What I expected to find, you can see the capacitor itself is reading about 150 picofarads, probably just acting as a uh, filter to shunt RF to ground. I'll look at that closer and uh, just see what the nomenclature shows on the uh, capacitor when I get to that point.
Hey guys, a couple resistors I'm going to look at closer. I'll probably take this loose here from the uh, fill coil so I can get an accurate measurement of the resistors. But just looking at the color codes, it appears someone may have replaced the what's called out on my schematic again at 250,000 ohms with a 2 meg ohm resistor. And this one appears to be around 600 ohms. And it's called out at 400, so probably no biggie here. You can't see it from this angle, but uh, one dot looks orange, one looks brown. So let me cut this loose right here where the fill coil attaches. And just check these individually see what we have. So the one resistor down here where I'm thinking it should be 250,000 ohms, you can see we're reading about 8 meg. So definitely defective. And the other guy here, the uh, blue resistor, is reading about 480. So it's reading lower than uh, what the value indicates, but that's a closer match to the schematic. Just tacked in for now. I'll clean this up again, assuming the receiver actually plays when we get to that point. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave off today. You can see I've got the uh, capacitor box out, the dual caps, 450 working volts, four microfarads, 525 max surge. Cool box. I can get down here as well and look at these uh, lead wires I was talking about. I'll probably just tack in some electrolytics for now. Cut this out. Look at restuffing possibly. A few more caps to go and then we can uh, power this thing up. Isolation transformer, variac, bring it up slow. See if we can get anything out of it. Thanks for watching to this point. Everyone take care. Stay well.